All right, major breaking news out in the desert. Cardinals superstar wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins suspended for six games for taking a little bit of that extra stuff trying to come back from his injury. It's all starting to make sense now why the Cardinals made a move for a Hollywood Brown on draft day. I'm going to break down everything going on with this story, give you my two cents on the whole situation. But if you could first like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you get these daily update videos, share this video with your friends. It really helps the channel out a lot. We're growing like crazy. All right, so superstar wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins has officially been suspended for six games for violating the NFL's PED policy. Huge breaking news across the league. It's massive, massive blow to the Cardinals. Now, he has withdrawn his appeal, so the suspension is official. It's going to be six games of this upcoming NFL season. Major blow to the Arizona Cardinals after Hopkins missed the last six games of this previous season. So he's going to be out for 12 straight games. And this is starting to make sense why the Cardinals traded for Hollywood Brown on draft day. It seemed very desperate. They seem to have given up so much to get him, but they've known this was coming down the pipe for a little bit now, and it all makes sense. But huge, huge blow to the Arizona Cardinals offense. This was a make it or break it year for their coaching staff. For their quarterback, Kyler Murray is still wanting a new contract. His play has not lived up to it, and he has been horrible without Hopkins, and he's going to be without him for the first six games of the season upcoming. This is massive, massive news across the league, and especially in Arizona. What are you going to do now? You're going to pay Kyler Murray? No chance. I'm going to make him prove it. And he doesn't have his best weapon. And now he's going to use that in his excuse. And Kyler seems to be this guy that makes all these excuses. So this is a huge, huge blow. And let's not forget the Cardinals are without Christian Kirk after the Jaguars broke the NFL receiver market, giving him $72 million in free agency. So they re-signed A.J. Green, and now they traded for Hollywood Brown. And it makes a lot of sense why they did this. Look at this trade for Hollywood Brown. They gave up the number 23 overall pick and the number 100 overall pick for Hollywood Brown. When just after that, the Eagles gave up um, gave up the 18th overall pick and a fourth rounder, 101, to the Titans to get A.J. Brown. You're telling me, Arizona, if you hadn't panicked and actually sat this through, you couldn't have gotten A.J. Brown to go with this matchup? Maybe they just wanted a straight burner, but they gave up 23 and 100 compared to 18 and 101. You throw in another fifth round pick, you're getting A.J. Brown for uh, from Tennessee. So maybe it's a money thing. They can't afford to give him a new contract. The Eagles obviously gave A.J. Brown a four-year, $100 million contract. So that could have been an issue. Kyler's contract down the pipe and you're paying DeAndre Hopkins a shit ton of money but look at this man Hopkins still a top elite receiver had 1400 yards in his first season with Arizona and only 10 games last year had 500 yards eight touchdowns so still a very very productive year and this is a huge huge impact on Kyler Murray if you look at Kyler Murray's game logs the last you know what he played last five games of the season that he played without DeAndre Hopkins now he was coming back from an injury and that seemed to show his numbers were significantly down compared to the start of the season look at the start of the season you know four touchdowns three touchdowns you know that wasn't a good game two touchdowns no picks Touchdown, four touchdowns, no pick. Three touchdowns, one pick. And he got hurt in the Green Bay Thursday night game. Oh, no touchdowns, two picks. But he comes back and he goes, two touchdowns, no. 0 for 2, 1 for 1, 1 and 0, 2 and 0, and then 1 and 0 in the, uh, the last game of the regular season. And the playoff game, 0 for 2. So he really, really struggled without DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins has had horrible quarterbacks his entire career until he got Kyler, and he still is an elite producer. So he is a guy that you throw the ball to, he makes plays, he makes catches, and he makes life so much easier on you. And Kyler showed how much he really struggled when he doesn't have that super safety valve in DeAndre Hopkins. So it's really, really thickens the plot down in Arizona. They overpaid to get Hollywood Brown. They knew the suspension was coming. They know Kyler wants a massive, massive contract. He hasn't earned that contract yet. And it's going to be on him to prove it. And he's without his best wide receiver. So it's really, really interesting now in the desert. Let me know what you guys think. Is Kyler going to be able to handle without Hopkins? Does this make sense? Was it a good trade now to get Hollywood Brown knowing the suspension was coming? All just crazy. What is Hopkins doing? Why are you doing the juice, man? You're better than that, DeAndre. It's going to tamper your legacy. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with your friends. And I'll, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow.